So we're ready to start a new project. And uh, we've decided to call this one the greenhouse. And as you can see, as we pan around, this, this folks have a green thumb. She's uh, got all these plants and they're all doing really well, not to mention the green couch. <laughs> so we're calling it the greenhouse. This essentially is a kitchen remodel. Uh, we're doing some flooring on the main floor here, but um, I wanted to show you right here. See this weird spot right here? This is a weird little opening that you can kind of see into the family room. And the stairway, stairwell, is on the other side of this wall. Um, my preliminary inspection tells me that this is not a bearing wall, but it could be. Because one of the reasons I can tell is that there's nothing, if you look at this from the front to the back of the house, there's nothing there that shows any bearing. Now, there could be a beam hidden up in the ceiling right there. And... Um, so it's possible it's a bearing wall, but I, you know we won't know for sure until we tear into it. So anyways, we still want to get rid of it and open it up. At worst, we might have to have a, a post right here and a post on that end and a beam across here. But otherwise, uh, we're planning on opening that up. So this kitchen is going to expand pretty significantly. Um, let's go see the kitchen first. So this is the kitchen that we have that we're working with right now. You see it's very dated. And again, it has that soffit up here that we're going to remove that was really popular a long time ago. And um, so, so we're totally getting this kitchen. This is going to get taken out and replaced with railing. And this is the wall where we're going to have the opening into the family room area right here that I was just talking to you about. This is a little pantry closet. We're taking this out. We're actually going to have um, some wall space here because we're going to put a double ovens right here. So, so this portion of the wall will stay, um, and we might have to add to it a little bit because um, you see the blue tape on the floor. That's a cabinet where the double ovens are going to go. So um, this wall right here that we're taking out, and the whole kitchen is expanding into this space right here. See, if you look on the floor right here, <laughs> homeowners put blue tape down trying to visualize where everything's going. So the fridge is going to go right here on this end. And uh, so the fridge on this end. And then that window that's over here behind us is going to be... Um, expanded so this window gets moved a little bit and we're going to make a, a window box so the window goes out kind of, kind of like a garden window a homemade garden window um, the regular garden windows are expensive and hard to get this one will we'll frame out a box and then put a window at the end of the box and then it'll be just a little bit above the kitchen sink and it's actually going to be come over to about here and end about right here so we got some work to do on the outside with the siding and stuff like that. But then this whole wall is coming out. So the kitchen sink is going to go right here. Cabinets around that way. And the um, uh, fridge is going to go right there. <coughs> so the new kitchen will come all the way down this way. And then still have a peninsula. The new cooktop is going to go. They're going to have a cooktop instead of a range. So the new cooktop is going to go right here. We're actually going to get rid of this window. So we're going to fill this window in. And then over here is going to be there. Um, so you can kind of see here on the, this the peninsula is going to come out right here where the blue tape is. And this little bit from here to here is the overhang on the peninsula. And then this is going to be a small dining nook. And then we're going to put a new window in behind this cabinet right here in the wall. So lots we're doing with windows on this job. And obviously we're going to redo all the lighting. We'll be adding uh, recessed can lights to everything. Um, so this is interesting. See how this microwave is installed. The wires are all just dangling up there. So you find some weird stuff when you get into these, these old houses. But, uh, anyways, I'm excited to show you the progress on this. The demo guys are coming in tomorrow. And again, we're calling it the greenhouse. And the next time we shoot video, there won't be anything here. We'll have everything tore up. So we've got everything all demoed. I mean, we still have a little bit to do here and there, but everything's all tore out. Remember we had that 
soffit that went all the way around right here above the cabinets. We got that all tore out. We have some more of my famous Wallace wiring. We have a Wallace switch, a Wallace plug, and another Wallace plug. How cool is that? Um, so just a refresher, we're going to be adding a window right here. So um, all, all this lumber you see right here is for some of the framing stuff that we have to do with the windows. This is header material down here. So we're putting in a new window right here. It's a five foot by four foot window. So it's a pretty big window. That's gonna, the dining table is gonna go right here. So it gives them a lot more light. This window we're actually getting rid of. We're gonna be filling that one in. And then um, they're working on this window right now. We had to kick them out for a minute while we did this video, but they're taking this window out. This whole window, it gets wider and it shifts that way. And it's gonna be one of those garden windows. So it's gonna have a shelf that goes out about a foot. And the window will actually would be about a foot out from the wall. So I'll give her some shelf space behind her kitchen faucet. Because the new kitchen faucet is going to go right here. In fact, you can look right here. We The plumber just left. So we just got the plumbing moved. Originally, the sink was over there. And we just got the plumbing all moved. So it's over here now. And the fridge is moving over here. So we added a fridge box right here. So a couple things demo-wise that aren't done yet. Um, <coughs> demo guys aren't quite as surgical as we need them to be sometimes and so i left this for our guys to do this this comes out right here so that it's open all the way into the living room right there but it's going to take some um, careful cutting to get that to be flat all the way across there and then the same thing here this was framed kind of weird this framing goes all the way down and so we have to carefully cut those so that we can cap it right. Um, we're going to put new railing right here. So we're kind of holding off on that for right now. So it's not a hazard. Um, we had the kitchen sink and faucet here for the last few weeks for them to use while we got to this stage. But now that we're having to move the plumbing over and everything, we had to get rid of the kitchen sink as well. So anyways, um, I don't know if you remember from earlier part of this video, but there's a really weird soften up here. It came out past the ceiling right there and then went all the way up. So we got rid of all that. There was a light in it. So we have a little bit of electrical to deal with. But we're excited to be moving forward with this project. Okay, so we're outside. I wanted to show you the outside of what these new windows look like. This window right here is a five foot by five foot window that we just added in. So that's a really nice window. And then this window was the one originally over the kitchen sink, and we um, boarded it off because the kitchen sink moved. The cooktops there now are going to be there. And this is the garden window that we did. And so, so it's a pop-out, so it has a bigger shelf inside, and the, sink, the sink's going to be in this location. This is all the flashing. Some of that flashing's coming down right now, but we'll staple it back up when we're ready to do the finish. We're going to finish around these with the hardy board uh, trim, uh, which is a cementuous fiber type siding that we can use because they're planning on residing the whole back of the house. So we're just going to do these, fill these in with that rather than trying to match the vinyl siding that's on here right now. So let's take you inside and see how it looks on the inside. Okay. So this we're inside, by the way, I was for the first time in the previous segment of this video, I didn't have a hat on. And I always have my hat on when we do these videos. And so I don't, we just don't know how that happened. But anyways, um, so this is the new window that we added on the inside. We're going to have a small dining area right here. And this is where the kitchen sink used to be and where that window over the sink used to be. So we filled that in. And then over here is the new garden window. So this is pretty cool. So it'll have a nice big shelf right here above the sink. You can see the plumbing down here. For the, for the new kitchen sink is going to be right here. And so this lots of light coming in this way. Having such a wide window cuts down on the width of the cabinets that are around it, but at the same time, it, this, with the expansion into this space of the kitchen, it makes it really nice. And so all the extra light is going to be super. Um, this is the new fridge location, close. You can see that's where it's going to be. So this fridge will actually shift over a little bit. When we're doing a remodel, we try to keep the fridge available for them to use during the whole remodel. Sometimes the fridge will get moved three or four times while we're doing the remodel, but they always have access to it. In some projects, 
we leave the kitchen sink in as long as we can. And we had their kitchen sink in maybe even in the last vid uh, video. I can't remember, but um, at some point we have to take it out. So um, we decided to keep this. This is going to be all railing, but we decided to keep that for now uh, for safety reasons. We still have to take out those two by fours over there to open that up into the living room. And all the electrical is done. We've added a lot of lighting. All the can lights you see on the ceiling up here are new. They weren't there before. And then also, this whole ceiling area didn't have any lights on it. So we've added all of these can lights up here as well. And then anywhere where you see a wire sticking out like this, this is an under cabinet light stub. So this is where under cabinet light is going to go and over here. So all the cabinets, all the upper cabinets will have lighting underneath them shining down on the counter so it'll be really nice so anyways um oh i wanted to show you um this is the tile that they picked out for their backsplash this is a marble tile and it's tumbled it has imperfections in it like you can see look little, little crack on a corner right there and there and right there and you know stuff like this so it has a little bit of rustic character to it and then this is the flooring that they've picked for their floor and it's a again it's aqua guard which is a brand that we ask our customers to choose because it it's thicker so it has a lot better feel for it it's water resistant and it snaps together really good and holds up really good this is a only you can only get that at floor and decor so hopefully you have one in your area if you're looking for flooring the only other thing is right here is a cabinet there's going to be a cabinet here with double ovens in it this is the power for the double ovens We've got to expand this wall a little bit. My countertop or cabinet guy wants 35 inches. So we've got to expand this a little bit to make it 35 inches wide to accept that cabinet with the double ovens. So next, the sheetrock. So we've made some progress since our last segment. And so let's show you what we've done. Of course, we have the, the window in, but all the sheetrock is done. This is the new window that we added. That actually, there was a window there, but we made a bigger and a garden window. And remember, there was a window right here that is gone and then we added this window right over here and so now all the sheetrock is done and we're ready to move forward we've even got the flooring done so this is the new flooring that's been installed it's a laminate floor by aquaguard and um so we're kind of in a little bit of a we're oh by the way first off um we took out that half wall that was here so that we could get the flooring in and then the railing and stuff will go on top of it. So we put this temporary wall in to kind of make it semi safe um, while while they're still living here while we're doing this. So so one of the things that I, I need to tell you is that we're having to do things a little out of order on this project because we are ready for the kitchen cabinets, but the, my cabinet guy is not ready for us. Um, everybody's so busy right now and it's taking him longer to get his doors made. Um, he has a guy that makes all his doors for him and it's taking him longer to get those doors made. If you hear that sound in the background, that's a dog trying to get in the doggy door from the backyard. <laughs> so normally I put cabinets in at this stage um, after the laminate floors put in and then have my painter paint around them. But in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint first. So I have my finished carpenter we're juggling things around. So the finished carpenter get in here and do all the baseboard and casings um, uh, so that we can get, because my painter can be here on Monday or Tuesday. Or, I'm sorry, so next week. And so, so that's what we're going to do. We're kind of changing the order of stuff so we can keep this project moving. Down here in the hallway, what, a change that the homeowner just made is that we're going to change – the casing around all the doors to the craftsman style because she wants the flat craftsman style base everywhere. And so now we're going to do the flat craftsman style casing and then a nice big header over the top. It's going to look really nice. That's an ad. We're not replacing the doors, just replacing the trim on the doors. And uh, it's about a $1,200 ad to do eight doors um, with new casing or $1,100. Sorry. So anyways, um, so we're going to get the painter in here next after we get the finished carpentry done. And then hopefully by then the cabinet guy will be ready for us. Okay, we finally got our cabinets. We had to wait. In fact, normally I paint the walls and the ceiling and all that stuff after cabinets go in because then 
while uh, we're waiting uh, for the countertops to be made, I can be painting. And then when I'm done painting, then the countertops are ready to install. But we had to do it backwards because we were waiting for the cabinet. So all the painting's been done. We'll have some touch up to do, but more or less all the painting's been done. But now we have the cabinets and now we're waiting for countertops. But check out these cabinets. Check out how cool. I love this color. It's kind of a, a sage-ish green color. Um, green's kind of one of the new colors right now. It's a, uh, a color for this year. And so I was kind of excited to see that she picked green cabinets. And then the wood grain portion of her cabinets, this is white oak, beautiful. So much nicer than the regular red oak that you see. So this is the natural finished white oak that's on here. And you see all the cabinets that are going in. This is where the double ovens are going. And um, I wanted to show you we got the railing in too. So you, this is really cool. I, we've never seen this pattern before. This pretty unique railing. And then it has the round knuckles at the bottom. Or escutcheons or trims or whatever you want to call them. But this is also white oak. And so this will just get a clear finish on it as well. So countertops are coming tomorrow and then we'll do backsplash the electricians actually here right now doing all the finished electrical so we're just uh, getting really close to wrapping this one up I want to take you outside because one of the things the customer added was some railing on our front porch they had some they had some really nice uh, paperwork done leading into the house but they needed some railing so my railing guy came in and did some wrought iron railing out front on the front porch so our homeowner had all this paperwork done before we came here, but they needed to add some railing, so she asked me if I could take care of that. So we had this railing installed, and it turned out really nice. And, you know, for, because of the height, you have to have railing here and a handrail. And so, so now she's got a handrail. It looks really nice. So we're all finished with the greenhouse, and this kitchen turned out amazing. We've made so many changes to what was here before that this kitchen just turned out beautifully amazing. So if you remember, we added that window right there. That window wasn't there before. And um, we opened up this kitchen because there was a wall here. And also this was just a half wall where the railing is. And we added this beautiful railing. Again, this is white oak, natural finish, and it just looks really good. And this is your white oak over here mixed with the, the painted sage green color. You also remember that over here, we opened this whole wall up. This wall went all the way to the ceiling. We opened it up here just to make the room feel a lot bigger. And then we did the same thing right here. This wall came all the way over to here, and we opened it up. We actually had to um, kind of rearrange this a little bit so we could get the double ovens in right here. And so you have all of this great counter space in this kitchen. This kitchen is so much bigger than it was. And if you remember, there used to be a window right here that we took out. And then we created this beautiful garden window above the kitchen sink. So we pushed it out, framed it out, and made it so it's just really a neat space for her to display stuff. And, and it's a wider window than you typically have over a kitchen sink, so it gives you a lot more light. And um, I want to show you outside what we did on the outside to compensate for the, all the window changes that we made on the siding. But before I do, I just want you to look down this hallway because down this hallway, we replaced all the casing and the doorknobs in this, in this hallway. So it all has the craftsman style with the header above it. And we did it also on these doors in the entry. And so, anyways, let me take you out and show you what we did outside. Okay, so we're outside in the backyard. And you can see here, this is the siding that was existing. This is a vinyl siding, still pretty dirty. And then this is the new siding that we put on. This is a cementuous fiber product called hardy board and so that's a new window that we put in and then there used to be a window right here that we took out and got rid of and then we added this box bay window kind of a garden window not a bay window but a garden window and put this new window in so we did all this trim and then we tried to get a paint that matched this um, this looks a lot better because this needs to be power washed. So this isn't dusty and dirty like the rest of it, but it turned out really nice. We didn't, they didn't want to do redo all the siding. So they're planning on redoing all the siding on the house later. So right now we kind of did this temporarily for them. So it's waterproof and it looks good. We really appreciate you watching as we share with you the transformation 
of this kitchen to what it is now. And so thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button. We'd also love for you to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so that we can notify you each time we add a new video. We love what we're doing. We love seeing these kitchens change and the people's lives get better because their kitchens are so beautiful. We love doing what we do. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.